What's up guys, it's C-Hall here, and I am back with that promise video about Gen 5. Uh, Gen 5 has been teased uh, ever since uh, we saw that third anniversary picture come out about a month or so ago on Pokemon Ghost official Twitter app. But it came out, had an amazing thing, uh, had all of the different Pokemon celebrating, running around. We saw on the bottom right-hand corner, Team Rocket hiding uh, behind the trees, seeing what's going on, and all of a sudden, whammy, uh, Team Rocket came out and was attacking all of the Pokestops. The world was going chaotic, everything was crazy, and then damn, that Snorlax was hard to beat, right? That had a lot of HP. But anyways, uh, Team Rocket was out, all the different Pokemon were there. And then they had some Gen 5 starters in there. They had all of them in there from Tepig to Snivy to Ocelot, right? All of them in there, which are gonna be your fire, your grass, and your water starter, po starter Pokemon for Gen 5 that are coming out. So I'm gonna read here a little bit um, on some of the notes that I had put down for Gen 5. So basically this is what I have, what you need to know going into Generation 5. So heading into the Unova region, Gen 5 follows the traditions that were set by previous generations. There are three starter Pokemon, Grass, Fire, Water, water which I just went over with you. Uh, and each of these two have two evolutions. So the same thing that we've seen from all the different ones. And it has a wide uh, array of legendaries. This actually uh, has some of the most legendaries. So this one gen 5 is composed completely of original pokemon which is awesome right so in the previous generations what we saw were you know uh pokemon from gen 1 and then they evolved in gen 3 and all that different things right all the different pokemon that you've seen these are completely original there's no baby pokemon there's no evolution pokemon these are a whole new breed of everything which is awesome. That's going to be really, really exciting, right? As much as I love evolving things from different generations, that was a lot of fun with the Sinnoh Stones on the last generation, Gen 4. Um, but I'm really excited for the new generation to come out uh, and have completely original, right? Uh, many of these Pokemon have special conditions tied to their evolutions. This includes reaching high friendship levels. So there's your friendship level thing that is matters. So start building your friendship levels now if you're not ready. Send in the gifts like crazy every single day to build multiple friendships up. Not just one person. Get out there, meet some people in your local community, add them, and then send gifts, 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 gifts. I'm, I'm seeing a community today come up in my head, just picturing, and you have to trade this Pokemon with a high up friend to get this awesome evolution, right? It'd be great to meet up with some of those people in the community that are constantly out there raiding in the parks and so on and so on, all right? Uh, and then also, uh, there, like I said already, there's no baby no baby Pokemon uh, from previous evolutions. Uh, and then with, with this as well, there are nine legendary Pokemon, right? Nine legendaries that are on this one, which is super cool. Have, we're gonna have legendary raids for days, right? There's gonna be a lot of exciting ones. And then they'll reinduce them with shinies like they've done in the other ones probably, I'm sure. Uh, but nine legendaries and there's four mythical Pokemon in this one as well, uh, making it the first generation to introduce more legendaries than the previous one. So all new Pokemon, right? Nothing's carried over from the other ones has the most legendaries or the most legendaries ever on that, uh, and then four mythical Pokemon. So this generation is something to get really, really excited about, and it adds unique things like trading the at different evolutions. At least that's how it did in the main series game, which was uh, Pokemon Black and White for this one. Um, the legendary Pokemon of Vic Victory, uh, Vic Vicinity? Okay. Ah! Ah! All right, whatever. But anyways, is the only Pokemon to appear before its region starters in the Pokedex as well. Uh, so it, that is actually the Pokemon of victory. So that's why it starts with it, right? Um, so the reason behind this is placement could be uh, that it's said to bring victory to the trainer who befriends it. So kind of cool. Uh, and then the Swords of Just Justice legendaries um, are on there as well, which are the four different po Pokemon, which are based on the three Musketeers, uh, which is pretty cool that they introduced that in the game. And then Gen 5 introduces the largest amount of Pokemon uh, compared to all the current generations, which is 156 Pokemon. That's a lot. So this that's exciting. So we go from completely original Pokemon, right? Brand new everything, no babies, none of that, no evolutions from Gen 1 to Gen 5, anything like that. Uh, we're gonna have special unique, unique ways to evolve these Pokemon based on friendship levels or different, you know, different stones. Maybe it's a uh, Unova a stone, like this one was a Sinnoh stone in the last one. Uh, has the most Pokemon, uh, 156 that we've seen released so far, which is super, super exciting. Uh, and it's the first generation to release more legendaries than the previous generation. 
and has four mythical Pokemon. Uh, super, super excited about that. Uh, this one has uh, some of the Pokemon that I, I actually didn't know were from this generation um, that, are, that are in this as well. Some of the different dark type Pokemon. Uh, really excited to play this one. But, you know, basically this should be released. We, we have the Ultra announcement on the 28th, the Ultra unlock. Uh, so it'll be pretty cool if they start introducing the starter Pokemon in the wild. Uh, this isn't, isn't going to be, I'm assuming what they've done is kind of slow roll the release. So if you're expecting all oh, 156, bang, and then all nine legendaries, and then you have special research for the four different mythical Pokemon, you're going to head yourself. This is going to be something that's going to be slow rolled out. It's going to be like before, like they'll release all of the you know, uh, spooky, uh, you know, Pokemon, uh, you would say for the Halloween season, right? Like they did with the other generations. And then you have some of the ice Pokemon or snow Pokemon coming out for the winter season. Uh, and then you're going to have, you know, fairy coming out for Valentine's day season, you know, so on and so on. As we get into the summer, next summer, you'll have legendaries, you know, filtering through every, you know, six weeks or so. Just the same kind of style that they have uh, in the previous generations, I believe, is what they're going to do. And I think they've really spaced it out well with different things uh, to do as far as different global challenges, different global unlocks, um, you know, reintroducing legendaries, but like they just did like reintroducing the, the Black Rayquaza, uh, which was amazing. Uh, no, I didn't get one, but my wife got one and I'm probably going to trade it to myself from her phone when she's sleeping. Hopefully she doesn't watch this, but that's going to happen uh, and see if she notices. But anyways, I really want that. So super excited about this generation, guys. Like I said, it's been teased. Uh, it's already out. Pictures of the three starters, uh, Tepig, uh, Snivy, and Ocelot, which are the different Pokemon for the starters, right? Like I said, it's the same kind of thing we've seen before. We'll see it slow rolled over the next couple months. I think uh, we'll see if I'm right with the, you know, all the different kind of ghost Pokemon will come out for Halloween, all the spooky ones, uh, which are some of my favorites. Uh, and then we're going to see the ice and snow and so on and so on uh, into the rest of the year. Um, releasing them probably, I don't know, 20, 30 at a time. But we'll definitely not have all 156. But I'm interested to see. So let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen. Are they going to release all 156 at the same time? Are they going to slow roll them? How do you think the release is going to be happening? Uh, and then the other thing that I'm thinking about is this is a great time. They're starting to change some things up a little bit with the Pokestops. Pokestops crazy boring, right? They reworked the gyms, they reworked the uh, the raids uh, recently on how to you use your supers. So now I'm that crazy person going like literally like this so I don't miss anything. Um, you know, because you have you can't just push the button anymore and it does its earthquake. You gotta you gotta hit all the things and do all the crazy stuff on your touch screen, right? So they introduced some of that stuff, but what are they gonna update next? Let me know in the comments below. What's your imagination thinking uh, that they're gonna update next? Me personally, I would still love for them to put like Poke Marts and places that you virtually walk to in parks. You've heard me talk about it a couple, probably two years ago now on a video is, you know, big state parks or big parks around, um, or if it's a, you know, one park in a town, have it automatically put that as kind of like a, a Pokemon village and have different places to go in and have different Pokemon, uh, po Pokestops heal your Pokemon, um, or this one only give you revives or things like that. You know, give give something different, kind of like what they did with the Rock Team Rocket Pokemon randomly at the different Pokestops. It made Pokestops cool again now. You know, it made me actually pay attention and look and see if it was, you know, shifting or when I got close, the Team Rocket guy would be standing there, uh, which was super cool and, and, and added a cool little twist to the game. But let me know in the comments below what kind of new feature do you think that they're going to come with this? Because the last few, you can see, they updated, they released Pokemon and added a new feature, you know, battle, trade, all that kind of stuff. So let me know in the comments what you guys uh, think below. The three starter Pokemon out of the ones that I think is going to be my favorite is going to be Tipig. Uh, the pi little piggy, right? Super, super cute little guy. Uh, and then it gets involved in this big badass pig, right? It's state fair time. Uh, and I just saw this massive pig. Like it's the biggest pig at the Iowa State Fair. Um, so I'm all about the pigs right now because of the state fair. So I'm going to say that's going to be my favorite starter Pokemon. That's the Pokemon I'm going to be going after. I mean, I got to be honest. I'm going to go after them all. Got to catch them all, baby. Um, but let me know what you guys think. What's your favorite starter from Gen 5? Let me know why in the comments. But all right, guys, thanks for watching. That's what I got for a Gen 5 preview. Of course, we're going to dig in deep into those 156 Pokemon, those nine legendaries, and then we'll also dig deep into those four mythical Pokemon. But let me know what you guys uh, think in the comments below. If you're not already a subscriber, click that subscribe button. It's free. won't cost, cost you anything. It'll make me sleep better at night. And then click that like button and leave me a comment down below. Thanks, guys. Bye.